Hey guys, welcome back. You made it for another episode of Plucky Squire. You're just in time. But last one, we climbed some of the mountain, got a pass to enter the top of the mountain, and Thrash had a little moment of glory to play a little DDR minigame. But now we're ready to go to the village and hopefully save Thrash's people and probably deal with Humgrump in the, in the process. They got a screw. Screw received. Screw transportation commence. Yeah, I think they're building that robot. That thing looked kind of gnarly. Hello, Spr Sprouts. That massive screw thing, it's not from our world. It seems that Homegrub is bringing metal parts into our land from the outside realm. Oh, don't hint at it, just... Machines of Mayhem. He's pilfered all that metal junk from another book on the desk. They should have just left it a mystery for the player. To discover that. Can't be good news, it never is with that nitwit. Hurry up to the peak, see what humdingus is up to. Moonbeard out. Okay. First we check every tree along the way. I guess not those ones. I'm assuming we're going to interact with these vines, but I don't know why the knife, the sword can't deal with them. Oh, what do we got? There's Mini Beard. Rock Rabbit. Hello there. Excuse my shivers. There's a big horrible rat around here that is giving me the heebie-jeebies. The rat's in a dark hole. You walk in front of it, it'll pounce and eat ya. Certain doom, mate, unless... You can find some cheese around here, you could distract the rat. You could all avoid death by Rodan and you could safely be on your way. Win-win, mate. Okay. First we'll talk to Mini Beard in a second after collecting everything. I haven't found a collectible yet in this session, so... Oh! We're back to the puzzles. There was a big wooden block. Okay, put that there. Check these trees. That block, it's big, but I bet you could tilt it. Oh, okay. You can tilt it, but what with this black page? Anything? Nothing. Okay. I haven't come across any words yet. Here's the key. Is the rat gonna get us? Nope. Maybe we get like metal block or something? Find more words, that's what the plan is. Oh, there we go. Oh, it is metal, okay. These metal spikes were quite a bother. What if we turn them into wooden spikes? I probably should, oh, uh, maybe leave it there. Will it, oh, we can break the path. Okay, I get it. Okay, before I do that, I want to grab the wood. See what happens. Wooden spikes might do something. Oh, they probably still hurt you. Okay. Now bash open the wall, make a secret path. And... Blammo! We're in. Hopefully we don't have to make them wooden. I also have to go get the word again. I'm not sure you're supposed to actually fight these. I think it just dodge. I think that's all it is. Oh, there's enemy. Okay, get out of there. There's something over there. 
There were some glowing mushrooms. Okay, glowing block, so we can see. There we go. There's the key, too. Ooh, I surprised that was a dodge. I thought I ate that. This cave just keeps going. Cheese crumbs dotted the ground. We need cheese block. There. Bring in the rat. Or was it a mouse? I already forget. No, don't turn the page. Incoming cheese. Did I have to close the page? Did I make it close? I want to read what it says here. Wait, no! I want to read what's on the back. Ah, uh, my only love tale, but Plucky Squire tells of a young hero who must defend his kingdom from the nefarious Lord Humgrump and his armies. Along the way, the Squire will meet colorful characters and hair raising monsters in a vivid and exciting adventure. Every child should have a copy. Okay. I think I might have, like, rotated the page before the rat got out. My only guess. Brilliant job, mate. Once again, cheese saves the day and the rat is really going for it, eh? You can be on your way now. Let me follow you later. I want to watch the concert. Happy hiking. Can we... Kill the rat, maybe? Eh, it didn't do much. Anything here? This line is suspicious. Ooh. Oh, no, it's a snake. I thought it was a, a river. Arg! Another one! Who put all the snakes here? These are cool looking snakes though! Okay, you can't do that when you, your sword's flying. I tried to ground pound. It's not quite a pogo though. I was I was really hoping it was gonna be a pogo. Not just a ground pound. Let's go, Thrash. Uh sorry, Jot. I may not have mentioned to you. I'm just a wee bit nervous around snakes. Quite embarrassing to be honest, dude. Put this one down in the column of self-improvement goals. Brr. Okay, into the snake cave. Oh, it's not a cave. It's just a snake gate. So far, no secrets. Phew, we made it through. My heart didn't stop. Good job, little heart dude. Can we get his axe? That's Trog, legendary metal warrior, jamming out. They say he transmits his energy to all who live on the mountain. You know, growing up here, I re never really got it. Now I'm starting to feel some of that mountain troll fire. Huh. Anything else? How much happened on that page? Hey, you two, I recognize you. You're troublesome persons. Alert, alert, backup requested. Oh, they got bombs. Okay, they take three hits as usual. I'm thinking if we have to hit them back. Nope, okay, just, just throw.
That was a good hit. All done. I thought we had to jump over the pit or something. Well, this looked dangerous. I guess we have to leave the book. The pink one, the beaker. Yes, avoid the green one. Spill on yourself, you'll be transformed into a gooseberry. Sorry, fellas, I'm at my magic lab. Work on potions with fire. All going well, although she won't stop asking me about the whole living in a book thing. Utterly obsessed. Anyway, it seems like you two have a bit of an impasse here. You're not going to halt that machine by asking it politely, you know? Nope, I think you'll need to stop it with a special kind of item, Jot. An item you may find out there on the table. Is it time stop ability? Hey, Thrash, you wait here. Oh, the Sam kid's got tons of glow in the dark stickers. The Sam does a lot when you're not looking. All right, there's someone around here who needs your help. Little rocket fellow lives in a mug shaped planet. You'll find that planet in the center of the desk. Okay, if there's arrows, we'll go the other way. Looking for any secrets. Treasure. Anything in the back? Nope. They got the Goombas. It looks the exact same in or out of the 3D world. Well now, there's a little rocket fellow around here who needs help. He lives in the planet shaped like a mug. In the center of the desk. Odd planet, nice rocket. Well before I do that, what else can I do? I can first check if I've found every secret in the book so far. Apparently not. I can't do anything with the book. Okay. They got every Goomba you see. Probably an achievement for killing X amount of Goombas. Pound that? Nope. Oh, hello there. I dig your antenna kind of fluffy and wavy. I'm Zip. Nice to meet ya. Thought you say you're looking for some kind of... I, why, why did it just spin me over? Well, you know, my dad could help you. He's very smart. But he's currently also rather disassembled. Some obnoxious soldiers barged into our little planet here and took him apart. They carted his fragments off. Not cool at all. Hey, if you help me reassemble the old man, he'll help you find what you're after. I'm not super confident in my jetting skills, but together maybe we could do this. How about it? If you jump out of this planet, I'll hop onto your back. And we can go looking for Dad's fragments. Ooh, a lot of coin. Anything else around here? Oh, in this hole! Nope. We have successfully ex exited the home planet's atmosphere. My first time, no lie, it's pretty thrilling. We're in the big bad galaxy now. But the pieces of my dad have been scattered. There are three fragments. One on the left side of the galaxy. One on the right. And one in the center. My deep space thrusters are enabled. It's time to explore the cosmos. Oh, it's not even jumping then rocket, it's just rocket up. Infinite fuel. Do we want to take out every soldier? There are three hits. Dive! Oh! I, it probably doesn't do more damage based on how big your fall was. How high can you go? Okay, it's not that high. Don't see me coming! Blammo! 
I did like one hit probably. Anything else to explore? Wait, can I just hover forever? No, okay, he runs out. Ahoy there! We are Geraldo, the Jelly King. Aho! It's our birthday today, you know, 60 years old. Oh, we would so much like to have a display of candles on our birthday. One lit candle for every decade of our wobbly existence. So happens there are six candles placed somewhere around here. If you were to ignite them all, you could make an old king very happy. Okay. While we do this, we'll look for any collectibles. Start looking for anything of the ordinary. Candles and collectibles. One candle! You can talk to Moonbeard, Minibeard. Alright, now, good adventuring. Keep it up. Okay, that didn't help. I don't need a motivational boost. I need intel. There's one candle over there. There's a candle near here. Head upwards. Okay. Oh, you can't hover. It's either up or down. Oh, no! Okay, I guess I'll light this one. Two. Higher and higher. Okay. Three. I'm assuming kill all- oh no, just fall inside. See, so yeah, I'm thinking, like, I'll finish the game, and then do chapter select- I'll look at the achievement list, then do chapter select, and start chipping away at stuff. Hopefully it tells you, like, what chapters you've missed an item kind of thing. That way I'm not, like, scrounging around looking for a nothing. In a chapter that I've 100 percented I probably all will- only thing I would need to be, like, chapter 5, 100% completion kind of thing. If I find a chapter that isn't, then I know dive back in there and do whatever. And hopefully it's New Game Plus where you keep all your items, too. This way, probably take us to a candle. Only one shot, eh? Where is this take? Oh, just a candle. Any secrets? Nope. Oh, he does run out of fuel. Okay. Probably come from the other side. Oh, how do you make this? A little higher? Come on, I usually grab ledges before. Hey, oh, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Come on, get up there. There we go. Now I made it. And this will give us one part. Oh, ho, can it be? They've gone and done it. Return here for a kindly gift. Kingly gift, dear subjects. It's probably part of the rocket. Anything else around here? No. Just flying around looking for any secrets. Any treasures, collectibles. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's a cool looking jot. Oh, I missed one. 
Although the broad design of Jot was decided early on, alternative hero designs were explored during pre-production. That one's okay. It's probably on the left side of the desk now. Happy birthday to us, Soho. Thank you both so very much. You have made our day a special one. We decree that you shall receive a token of our royal appreciation. This metal thing. One fin. Anything else on the page? Little bit of cash. Nothing on the other side. Okay. One piece. Fire. So we got one dad part. Two more out there in the galaxy. We can do this. See, like, he can bring other people, like, other sentient things. Why not bring Violet out so she can comprehend what's going on? And away I go. Uh, do I want to go up? Could be so okay. This is an exit. I want to look for secrets. Let's find one more fragment of my father before we enter here. I need a bit more jetting practice before I can brave this war zone. Okay. What's this arrow pointing to, though? Anything behind? No. Doesn't look like anything. Their backyard makes no sense. I want to know what all that green was. Like, it's grass, sure, but like, why is it so dark? I'm looking out for one secret, or one collectible. A few more soldiers out there, but I don't think it's a problem. Gotta be a collectible somewhere here. Probably just go to the edge of the desk first, work my way back. I was hoping it was going to be a one-shot ground pound on him. It's a good thing no one notices the glowing aura flying around. Oh, come on, you have a jetpack! What else is around here? This jetpack's not working. This might be the right way. I'm gonna not go the right way. Take the wrong way first, see if I can find any collectibles. What's over here? Oh, that's just dead zone? Okay. I was expecting there just to be a uh, point of no return. At least put up like a book or block me out. Anything over here? Anything at all. That'd be a secret somewhere.
This Sam kid has way too many knickknacks on his desk. This is a big desk, actually. He does something different on every day. This one's all seems to be like toilet paper tubes. Make the jump. There. Oh, there's gotta be something up there. Yo, Papa Rocket's missing part is close by. Just have to jet your way through a dangerous stretch of space to get to it. Such is life. Not going that way yet. First check the dead ends. Aha! Yeah. Oh, what's this? Okay, it's the one I missed. A graphical glitch in the boxing minigame created our friend the glitch bird. Character created by the game itself. Thank you, game. That's how it was made, eh? Now we gotta find every glitch bird. Anything else around here? No. Goomba stomp him! There we go. I'm really surprised there's no achievement for Goomba stomps. Okay, you can hit the UFOs. Can you not attack while in the air? Oh, here's the exit. Oh, and I still take a hit. Yeah, if you have less than 100% health, you'll, a heart will spawn, like, within the next two enemies. What's he got to say? Ooh, visitors! Hello, I'm Terry. Don't see any melee. Don't see many life forms around here. Hey, before you jet off, I found something shiny. Why don't you take it as a souvenir to remember your old Terry by? Okay. Anything else on here? Yep. There's always cash on him. Nothing on the other side. What about on the inside? Oh, no, not yet. I want to check on the inside of the mug. Jot, we did it. We have two of my father's pieces. I think we're ready to brave the war zone. Let's go. Check inside. Nothing. Okay. Is there going to be a mini game in here, I'd take it? All right. I'm ready as I'll ever be. I'm certain the last fragment of my father is in here. Let's go get it. It's got to be a mini game. So time, soldier. Oh, you've been out dilly-dallying, we've been up our eyeballs in Skrull. They've been blipping in and stealing our best scientists. Those buff... Buffins may be wimpy pukes, but we need them for the war. Get out there, rescue some scientists, and bring them back here to me. Also, don't die. Oh, it's always mini game has gives you a muscle dot, muscle jot. How do you shoot? Uh, I can't shoot. There's no shoot button, or...? I can't shoot. You can skip the minigame? Why would you do that? I have pressed F Oh! How did I do that? Oh, it's with the... Okay, use your thumbstick to do this. Like, the right thumbstick shoots. That's weird. It reminds me of Section Z a bit.
Oh, he got me. Do we get power-ups? Probably not. Free the scientist. You're free. Oh, it's a little tiny guy. He doesn't help you shoot, though. Okay. No upgrades. No like spread shot or little assistant guy like in any shmup. It would be cool to get some upgrades here. Yeah, there's no tutorial or like instructions how to shoot. It was just figure it out. I did not expect shoot to be right and left on the right thumbstick. Yeah, it reminds me of Section Z. Okay, take the scientist back. Wherever it is, there we go. Normally detected. Do I go in the anomaly? I keep thinking their little parts of their ship are collectibles. Can't break it. Can't interact with it either. You're free! Oh, two of them! Three of them! Okay, done. Probably a boss? No? Okay. That was fun. That's the last scientist. You got them all. Base is full of nerds now. They're already cooking up our next weapon. Good job, soldier. Next mission, take this piece of junk and transport it away from here. It's the Papa Missile. Papa Jet. Uh, okay, I guess we gotta take them back to the start. We did it! We won the intergalactic battle. Your blast laser blasting was so cool. Was my jetting cool, okay? Wait until I tell my dad. Let's get back to my home planet and put them back together. That's the mug-shaped planet where we first met. Okay. Fly over there. Wait! Oh, uh, no. Might be too late. I might have not missed anything. I should have checked on the very top of that command center. We made it back. What an odyssey. Okay, let's reassemble Pops. That wasn't so hard. Oh well, that's much better. I don't know if you've been disassembled, but I really can't recommend it. What's that? You're looking for an item. You know, there's a curious object lodged in the core of this planet. My antenna tells me it might just be what you're looking for. Let's see if we can blast it out. Is it a stamp? Ah, stretching my jets never felt better. I hope that weird thing is that what you're after. Thank you, young warrior, and thank you, Zip. You've done me proud. Okay, hop out. New item. It's not a power glove this time. Got, got... Jot got the stamp stomp st Holy crap! Jot got the stop stamp! He can use it to imprint a magical hand icon onto the book's pages. This icon will freeze whatever it's imprinted on to. Press L2 to place a stamp, or R hold R2 to carefully aim it. Cloud, glad to have you back, Jot. Looks like you retrieved my stomp stamp. 
Let's put it to good use then. Okay, center. Oh, you just use it. Okay. I thought it was going to be... How do you... One stamp. Okay. That's cool. Okay, and then Thrash is probably going to say something. Dude, I had a feeling you'd be dropping in. This crazy machine just stopped cold. I said to myself, that's got to be John up to his wild tricks. Wily tricks. Come on, let's slip on through. Okay. That's probably it for this episode. Got through the entire 3D world for this chapter. Got a new stop. Got a new ability. Made a tongue twister out of it. And what else did happen? I got some more collectibles. That's about it. So next session, I guess we'll just hopefully wrap up Throg Tower, Throg Mountain, find Humgrump and save the village of frogs. 